Don't do No, 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 no. Don't be there. That's okay. Hi here, Finn's here. I'm back for another video and today I'm reacting to another Eurovision video for 2019 this year and it comes from Ireland Potato. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it comes from Ireland. It's time to get ready to do your Irish dance and drink some Guinness and dance on the Highlands. So we're heading to Ireland now for Junior Eurovision 2019. Yes, um, they've released their song and their artist, um, and it will be performed by Anna Cal Anna Kil Kilney Kilney Kilney. Her surname is with the song Banshee, I think you pronounce it. Now, with Ireland and you, Junior, um, it's quite weird because they speak. They, no, they don't speak. They sing in the uh, in their Irish language of Gaelic, um, which is fine. Although I don't understand what they're saying, um, and they've always done that. However, when it comes to adult Eurovision, they always sing in English, which is kind of confusing. They've never really, apart from the, maybe the last time in the 70s or the 80s, they've ever sung in Gaelic in adult Eurovision. But when it comes to um, um, main Eurovision, they always sing in English. And when it comes to junior, um, they always sing in Gaelic and they've never really sung in um, English, which is quite interesting, it's a bit like Malta, you know, adult Eurovision, they always sing in English, they've never sung in Maltese, but when it comes to junior, they sometimes sing in Maltese, and about, unlike last year, they sung in English, but, um, it's quite interesting, um, why they do that, um, because it is quite interesting why they've never sung. I don't know why the reason why they always sing in Gaelic and never English. I don't know. That's the rules of junior years and you have to sing in your native language. Um, it's essential. It's just easier for the artist. Although when you go to Ireland, most people speak English more than Gaelic. I don't know. I think Gaelic is the um, Irish language. Yeah, I think Gaelic is what it's called, uh, the Irish language. I know people speak Gaelic in Scotland as well, and Northern Ireland as well. Um, but anyway, let's listen to the song now. <laughs> I've been talking too much. Uh, let's see what Anna's bringing. It's Banshee, I hope you pronounce that right. Ballad <laughs> You can see this in a Disney movie really. Princess. Little girls would vote for this, I think. It's more of a girl song. Okay. This is nice. I would like it, the song to maybe. It has a nice little chorus there, but then it kind of dipped a little. But maybe it's gonna go somewhere soon. Oh, yeah, she can sing. That's ticked. Actually, it's not bad, my then. That's a welcome entry, actually. I 
actually feels you have a sense of Irish in it. With the violins. I think it's violin. It's going somewhere now. Yes! <laughs> oh, Ireland! Okay, now you can sing in Gaelic or whatever language you can. That was beautiful. That really was. That's the best. I would go as far as say that's the best junior Irish entrant ever. Seriously. If she can sing that good in the studio uh, cut, and if imagine what the live performance was that was that was quite magical i would say that was really beautiful it felt like she was like a disney princess you could see that on the soundtrack of like um a disney movie or something <laughs> i don't know and yet it's it's you had that um and yet it did feel kind of um Irish in this, the orchestra and the violins and the string music, oh, actually really beautiful, that's, I think that's what I like when you have countries bringing your country to the contest, it's like why, why, um, why I like um, Heartbeat, um, Carolyn and Casey Smith, because that felt very Irish, um, that did, that was really beautiful, I mean, Ireland hasn't been challenging the leaderboard in Junior Eurovision, let's be honest. I mean, they, I mean, their 2017 entrant, I mean, I mean, people liked it, but I actually kind of felt it was a bit forgettable, a bit boring, and I can't even remember how that went. And last year, it was good, it was something different. I owe you, do, 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 do. But I think it was, it was a tough year last year, and I think it just... It got 16th or 15th, I think, last year, but it was all right. Um, wasn't one of my favourites, but no, that was beautiful. That really was beautiful. It kind of reminds me of like the Welsh entries. Um, I don't like um, like the Welsh song kind of. Um, but no, that was really actually really beautiful. I hope they nail staging right because they get the staging right and. I think that's the problem with that, the 2017 um, song I've looked back on. Um, maybe th with their song, and their, the staging was a bit too simple and a bit forgettable. If this gets a good running order, if it's in the second half and it's quite late on, and it has nice staging, you could just play around with like the LEDs, make it like, um, maybe make it a forest, and have some dances with her. Uh, make it quite beautiful. I think it could get a good result for Ireland, I think. It could stand out. I think the juries would get behind this more than Telephone. But I, I actually like it. I really do. Oh, I actually got a new favourite now. <laughs> uh, but no, comment down below what you thought of the Irish song for Junior Eurovision. I actually quite like it. Um, but yeah. Really beautiful, really, really beautiful um, song from Ireland. Um, yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, and also like and subscribe this video if you want. Uh, I will be back for more content from Junior Eurovision and all oh, Eurovision uh, very soon. And potato from Ireland. Goodbye, people. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>